connected to? A particular group of people, animals, the environment? For some reason unknown to you, that specific group or issue pulls at your heartstrings. Is unmotivated by a situation or circumstance. It just is. This is your compassion connection. The question becomes, how can you align with your compassion connection to live your most meaningful life? Hello, I'm Susanna Stevens, Conscious Contribution Cultivator for the You, Me, We group. Welcome to We Wednesdays, a short weekly video infusion of how to make your contribution count for you, your company, and your community. Before we answer the profound question, let's explore what compassion really is, what type of connections you may have had, and focus on how to align to it. What is compassion? As shared in the previous We Wednesdays, compassion is having a profound concern or care for someone else. However, you, me, we defines it as interest is not passive, but active. In other words, you just don't feel for another or situation, you're prepared to do something about it. Concern and care can translate into your compassion connection. Subconsciously or consciously, your heartstrings are pulled at when you hear or experience an incident where this group or issue is in harm's way or is celebrated in some way. People are often drawn to a particular group or issue because they are personally affected by it. A parent is elderly or someone they know has a disease or their child is being bullied. But this is not always the case. Sometimes our compassion connection exists just because. We don't select it, it actually selects us. Now, it is important to realize that a compassion connection is not a cause, but a group of people. A cause is an organization, plan, or activity that you are willing to support because it provides help or benefit to people who need it, such as civil rights, education, or a disease. A compassion connection is the particular group of people that you want to focus on within a cause. For example, the cause could be violence, and your compassion connection could be children, women, transgender, or a particular culture or race. Who is your compassion connection? You may not know, possibly because you've never thought about it, or no group or issue has yet pulled at your heartstrings. If you were to reflect on experiences where you've been moved emotionally, perhaps some light would be shed on a particular group or issue. As an example, women leaders are my compassion connection. And although there could be many reasons for it, I was always drawn to women making change in the world. Possibly several conscious or subconscious incidents led to that, but no one circumstance can point to having that connection. Your compassion connection chooses you. You choose your cause. You may find your compassion connection is children with disabilities. However, many causes address their needs. Some causes could focus on music, education, skill development, or social interaction. Perhaps you're drawn to women empowerment. Again, many causes could address this issue. Violence against women, women in small business, women leaders, or dress for success for women. By reflecting on the following questions, you may discover for the first time or reinforce why you feel connection toward a particular group or issue. So here are some. Who or what do you feel the most compassion toward? Why does it pull at your heartstrings? What do you believe about this group or situation? What do you understand about this group or situation? Is your connection deep enough that you want to contribute consciously to that group or situation? And how do you know? Just to be clear, I'm referring to situation because it could be an environmental issue, which crosses over a bit to a cause. Now, back to the original question. How can you capitalize on your compassion connection to live your most meaningful life? The answer is, drum roll please, Align your life with your compassion connection, meaning align your career, your volunteer efforts, charitable giving will fill your heart and your mind. 
align all your initiatives to uplift the life of a specific group of people or situation. You will target your energy and experience progress in a particular area. Human beings crave to have impact, and yet we often spray our contributions in a multitude of directions. We give to support cancer, women's health, men's health, literacy, children with disabilities. The list is endless. Every time we give to a cause, we are contributing. Outtake consciously? The answer is in another blog. Check out uh, the link to this particular section. Are you conscious of the impact you're contributing? Let's go back. Every time we give to a cause, we are contributing. But do you feel part of the solution? Do you feel you're making an impact? Do you feel connected to the cause? Marry what you love with what you're good at, with what the world needs and what you can get paid for while consciously contributing to your compassion connection, you will live your most meaningful life. We interviewed Mavita Makamba for WisdomExchangeTV.com, an executive at Vodacom Tanzania, who did marry what she loved, what she was good at, the need, and what she could get paid for. Mavita's compassion connection is marginalized women. She chose fistula as her cause, which is an uncontrollable urinary leak causing many women discomfort and to smell. These women be forced out of their communities into hiding. They were socially and economically isolated. Mavita, along with the Vodacom Tanzania Foundation, collaborated with rural ambassadors such as teachers, people working in churches or mosques. Ambassadors would identify women who had been in hiding then call a toll-free Vodacom number. Vodacom sends a bus fare to these women via M-Pesa, a money transfer service via cell phone, regardless of where these women were in Tanzania. The woman with the disease withdraws the money, and the ambassador will put them on a bus to go to the hospital for a 30-minute treatment. Then Vodacom sends $3 token to the ambassador as a thank you with an estimated of 3,000 developing fistula a year, Vodacom's goal is to eradicate fistula in Tanzania with the use of their and other technology and collaborate with the Tanzanian hospitals and multitude of ambassadors. Over 2,000 women and counting have received 30-minute free surgery and have been able to go back to their community. Mavita aligned her compassion connection with her company offering and effectively merged what she loved, what the world needed, what she was good at, and what she got paid for, all while transforming marginalized women's lives. Consider, how can you take your compassion connection and your company's service or product offering and innovatively and collaboratively bring it to market, where it too can have a positive impact on the community and create a mammoth ripple effect. Until next time, make your contribution.